Hey guys, how you doing? Let's start this. We'll do a uh, create a match casual. There we go. I play uh, Queen C, and then I have my in route for an attack there. There we go. You sometimes have to trade down a little bit to get to a winning position. We're doing good here. We should be able to hold. I want to keep my battery. This should be an interesting, this is getting down to who has most space at this point. He's going to have to decide if he wants to take, then I take, takes, night takes. Interesting play for sure.
I have more space. Trying to infiltrate in here. find out how to get to here he takes takes it's too late so I can't he can't do that
Gotta be careful here that I don't get trapped. Yep, ended in a draw. Let's see where, where could I have uh, improved at this point? I know there's a part. And then we'll go to the London system training.
right about I wanted to check here So why here? Well, we'll give it a a try. Well, hey, why not? It's a casual. We'll give it a try. Well, I got. We'll just do this one game, and maybe next time, and we'll then we'll get into our London system studies, and then some tactics. So. But we will do it. And we'll 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 look into doing it. So don't worry. Let's see here. Do do do. Hmm. Do I want? I don't want to handle that because that's a total weakening move. Try just H four. That's an, that's a really nice idea. Yeah. Okay. Castle and Queenside. If he plays knight here, I always got queen there, so.
trying to get uh, A4 in into the mix. Cover that, and then now I'm ready for an attack. So, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta be patient. Just be patient. I'm almost got this guy.
Yeah. This is where I want to head up right there. It's kind of my idea. Yeah, I was thinking of root takes, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna implant it there. Gotta, I have to get this bishop off the, this bishop off the board, so I'm gonna try to do that. This is a tough one here. Okay, so.
Let's see, okay, if I play Queen Check. Gonna move the Boom. No, thank you. I appreciate the offer, but I gotta get into, uh... Hey, how you doing? Okay, we'll get into the London system. <laughs> yeah. That was intense. Very intense. Yep, we did good, guys. We did good. Okay, let's go. Let's start into our studies now. Yeah, that was a nice game. Oh, you want to look at a game? All right, we'll give it a shot. We'll do. Well, we'll look at one game and then uh, we'll we we'll get into our uh, London. It's a really interesting one. This is the Barry attack. Our Burry attack. I, let me see if I'm pronouncing it right. Hold on. Barry. Sorry, Barry. B-A-R-R-Y. Barry attack. It was my first game against the title. Nice. Good job. Hey, that's an accomplishment right there. Oops, I gotta turn off the engine. Boom. Uh, come on, turn off the engine. There we go. And I'm gonna turn off the engine fully. Boom. Alright. So he did the modern line. Okay. 
tonight's variation. Interesting for sure. Cause your your position's like solid as a rock. But he's got a lot of space, so So it's all now. Can he maintain his spatial advantage and can you at the right moment attack? That's kind of what it looks like. That's kind of what a modern defense is. You attack with the pieces and then at the right moment you thrust with like e5, something like that. Queen e5, nice. d2, queen d2, a6. Okay then. Oh, nice. So, oh, that's actually I like that move. Hmm. Not sure about that. Interesting for sure. I'm just trying to see is there. I guess you have to kind of push at that point. Nice. That's the. Yeah, you're actually cementing everything. So you're developing your knight. Yeah, because that, that's actually a really good move. Hitting right there. Can we do it with any? Can we do it with tempo though? Or tempo, however they want to see it. I guess not. I guess that's probably the best. I was thinking of something like this, but I I think he has that. And I was thinking, but then he does that there, so. Yeah, perfect, nice. Well, do you have enough? Uh, you don't have enough attackers at the moment yet. So I think the attack. Well, I guess you do got to do that, don't you? Because the he's gonna trap your queen, won't he? Yeah, because uh, that that goes for that there. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of have to sack a pawn at that at this point. So far, okay, that's all right. You're going after that, okay? Takes, takes, bishop takes. Yeah, that was a blunder on his part. Yeah, that. That was a mistake here, or right away. That was a big time mistake. I was kind of wondering. Well, yeah, I guess I was thinking that, but then I realized he could play e5, so you can't take advantage of the pin yet. As yet. So cementing the bishop. I 
I was kind of... I was kind of thinking something like that there. Or, or something like here. Maybe going after that pawn. Maybe, maybe even... Uh, But I think yeah, I think he was kind of predicting that move. And if you try there, he can he can lock the position up like that. So yeah, we trying to see if we can't get some material. Maybe just pick off that pawn there. Keep this pin and maybe even maneuvering around. Ouch, I don't know if that was, I think that was a mistake. Yeah, because uh, whatever you do, you don't, yeah. Oh, you're lying, yeah. Because you don't, you have to be super duper careful when when you're like this. Because you're cemented. You can uh, make a fortress. And then once, once you have a fortress, you're right as rain for holding the position. Yeah, I think something like just fortifying your position. If you plays here, you play there. Um... Uh, let's see what could he play? Probably I don't. He probably. Oh yeah yeah. I'm just thinking. Cause this is now under. Well, I get. Well, I, well, I guess we can just maybe. I'm just over exhausting again. Maybe just take there. I think taking. Then now you have a pass pawn. I I like that. I really really like that actually. I like taking better now that I think about it. Now you have a threat of a pass pawn, yeah. Oh, it's not a problem. And you know what? It's yeah, you did great. You played really good. Just I always figure this, my teacher told me, make as many problems for your opponent as you can. And then they have to focus now because this is a pass pawn, your uh, opponent's going to have to constantly think about what if we play bishop b4 and I uh, bit sorry bishop b3 and then we start the push of the pawn because we'll have like all of, and then he might try something like that though but at that point you can just uh, attack the queen and when the queen um, kind of backs up here then you can actually play bishop there and I'm not sure who's best here I'm thinking white slightly better well may maybe even better would be at this moment maybe better would be ch no I I don't like check because it hangs the pawn here but could we actually do check and then he plays g6 or g4. And then we play bishop b5. And if queen takes, we grab the rook. Hmm. Is that playable? I think it is. I kind of. Okay, that, that is interesting. Now that I think about it, yeah. Move 36, let me see. 
Okay. I whoo yeah it is weak isn't it? Snikes that is a pain in the drain isn't it? Yeah it is a pain. Let's try and see is there anything that we could do besides that? No. Yeah, that would have locked everything down. I think I think you would have been okay here. I I believe your line is uh, right on. Yeah, you're cemented here. Yeah, this is. Uh, you got some pretty good chances with F five on. Yeah, I like F five. That's a really good move. I really don't know what he can play here. This. It's kind of. He's actually in a bind here. Maybe pushing just to stop this. But then you just grab the pawn. Hmm. Boy, that is. This is a pickle for sure. Yeah. Yeah, F5 is, I got to say, it's crushing for black. White's too far into the position and about basically to get destroyed, yeah. Yeah, everything is like, this is, this is hanging here, that, that's hanging, that's hanging. The queen's even weak, potentially. But first, you really can't take this pawn on f2 yet because you'd lose your bishop. So first of all, you'd have to um, grab the pawn on a4, and then if he plays like that, then you could come back. Yeah. Very, very tactical game. Very tactical. I'm thinking he might try to, you know, cement with that, but he's gonna lose there. So maybe he, maybe he's just gonna. I'm just thinking he's gonna retreat out. But if he does that, you, you win a pawn. So and this is horrible for him. I don't. I don't know if he's got really any good move here. I really don't think he has a good move. His knight is totally disgusting. Because even if he tries to get his knight back into the game, you just grab a pawn and then you just you grab another pawn and like maybe he's gonna try something like that, but but then he, he he's got to remember that he's got a pin there so and if he tries that then now he's got a, another pin here so it's like oh boy yeah he's he's in a uh, problem yep f5 f5 was the winning move for sure that was a great find. Excellent find there. I want to see what the computer says best move for white. Because I don't see any best moves for... At least to my human eye at the level that I'm at right now. I don't really see any good moves. Well, I guess... Okay. Wow, it's... You, you, wow. Yeah, you grab... Oh, you can actually... Wait. You grab the knight and when he oops sorry that's my bad yeah that would be that would be a blunder there so you take there okay 
basically you just grab pawns, okay. What happens if you just grab that? Oh, okay, ouch. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That's an interesting move. And it's basically a draw at that point. And you just grab that pawn. There's no real reason to worry about this at the moment. And if he plays there, you have C2 with a threat there. Hmm. <laughs> what to do, what to do for, well, I, I, it's a draw, I could, I knew, I knew you had a draw something with, uh, when you played F5 here, I knew it was a good move, it was such a good move, his, his playing, um, E5 was a blunder, that was his blunder. He should have just left it alone and kind of tried to, you know, maybe protect something over here. You know, try to put some pressure there. Yeah, he might try that. Okay. Then you can retreat back. Oh, he loses a piece, so. Then the king's gonna have to move. Huh. Yeah, that's a problem right there. This pawn's too fast. Yeah. Well, great game. So we'll we'll get on to the London system. That was an excellent game. Great game. That was that was cool. What the heck? There we go. Somehow that was a weird. Okay. We got it. this is the uh, berry attack set up here. D4, D5, Bishop F4, Knight F6, E3, G6, Knight F3, Bishop G5, uh, Bishop E2, Queen, and then Simon Williams talked about this. This is kind of a uh, you can do this setup. It's really an interesting position. Your idea is at, at some point to transpose into e4. That's what he talked about. That you you go into basically an e4 um, opening. Usually, if you castle kingside, when you castle kingside, if you're going to play kind of slow, e4 is playable. He played c6 to cement the pawn. So there's c5, which um, he said really isn't the the best. Actually, the bear the berry attack here. 
is is a uh, it's a hypermodern uh, London line. I I wanted to read that to you. It was popularized by the English grandmaster Mark he Hebden Hebden uh, back in the eighties. So this was popularized by Mark uh, Hebben, a grandmaster. Sorry, I have to. Uh, he 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 had, he was the grandmaster. So. He used to play this on his opponents, and uh, he got some really good results because they didn't. Uh, they did. They always thought that you know c sit c three or bishop or knight b d two would be an idea or c three. They didn't really think that uh, knight c three could be playable in a London system, but it can be. So c five d takes c. Wait, was that an exclam? Did I? Oh, I forgot. I forgot an exclam mark. Snap. Come on. There we go. That's an exclam mark. Move. And then d2. Then another. Because what what you're doing is you're wanting him to actually take so that you can get development on the queen side. Uh, queen side attack. He goes knight e e uh, e4, which. It's pretty an interesting move because it's he's trying to trade off one of the knight pairs. So the knight takes is forced. Then you take your castle kingside, and e and even if he took here, you have the ability of playing knight b d four, or maybe actually I'm sorry if he takes here on c five, you can play knight takes e four. And you're attacking the queen, and you freed up the center, which is a stellar uh, setup for white, because now white has free mobility. So that's why he played knight c6, c3. This stops the infiltration point there, as well. F5, and then knight bd3, and this now is pawn black and white. I think a full pawn up. Let me see. Two, four, five, seven. So, two. let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's a whole pawn up in this line. One pawn. There's also a sub sub line. If you if the queen takes, you have b two uh, b three knight b three. Then b five because now you're threatening to trap the the rook in the corner a6 and now bishop to uh, e5 this has the idea of playing bishop to d4 attacking the queen and potentially uh, winning a pawn there because the queen's going to have to move if we can get here the queen will either move here actually sorry queen would have to move uh, either here here or there one of these points and we just pick up the this pawn on a7. Okay, there's also a, another subline which is really interesting. Instead of knight to uh, c6, you can play uh, bishop. Bishop takes. I know you guys are thinking, what's that? That's a huge blunder because now you play knight c4. That forks the the queen and the bishop. So the queen has to it has two spots to go to there, which actually would lose to a pin. Our uh, queen, to, sorry, queen b4 loses to rook b1 pin, and it's all over at that point. The best, his best chance is queen c3, uh, but again, the bishop's trapped. Where do you go? If the bishop moves here, you you just drop uh, your rook there, and you're gonna pick up a bishop. The queen's just gonna, and the queen's gonna have to flee, so like somewhere here, and then you just grab the the bishop. That's why it was a. Uh, that's why it was a blunder. Okay, so Barry attacks c six. That's why c five wasn't played. If you guys were wondering, that's how to handle c five. You take and then you. Uh, you develop with your knight to d d2. Queen e, e uh, six. This is actually a uh, 
dubious move because it really doesn't have any point to the play. The, a better line would have actually been uh, knight b d uh, 7. It's too slow and you may you may think that that this move here is best. There's that here here this is actually the best line for white actually a black's best chance I mean h4 and then h. And now you're putting pressure on the king side this is a really good initiative attack for um, white. This is a good. This was a good line. There's actually an even better one. Knight f uh, d7 is actually an exclam. It's, it's the best line in the position. It clears the way for uh, f6 to be played at the right moment. And uh, so what? White plays is h4 because he wants to kind of get some uh, kingside uh, pressure and white's more likely going to play either queen uh, d2 and castle queen side so he doesn't really have to worry about the king side he's going to kind of get a, uh, a fast attack so he throws in uh, h4 uh, okay hold on let me see here h4 f6 Knight takes and then knight takes and uh, e5 here will uh, give black some counterplay. So yes, white has accomplished kind of opening, making the king side slightly weak, but e5 will give black space in the center. So, but not bishop to e6 too passive way too passive h4 see it allows white this idea of h4 to be played uh, knight f2 there's uh, also a, an idea if uh, h5 is played which looks kind of crazy g4 is uh, he said it's kind of like almost suicidal in some playing types because you're thinking what are you doing? But it's not really. It's I think he I think I'm looking at a different line that he says that. Let me see here. Right. So let's see here, here. There. Queen takes D and then H five. Now now this move here is h5 uh, is like yes finally you get the break in and he takes that's that's like crazy because when he, now you're threatening there's no way to stop mate my guess no there's no way to stop mate So they're saying after h5, there's a, another subline. Instead of after knight takes, there's h uh, knight to h5. Uh, check. King h, and then we take the bishop. I would take the knight. Takes. We take. King takes, and then bishop f3. h8. Queen. And then castle queen side. And now white has the initiative here. White has more initiative than black because uh, white's king is safer than black's because you can play rook d g1 and now you have all your pieces. And then potentially next move could be knight to e2, knight to f4 with some attack. So that's why h4 is a stellar move here. So rather than going h5, which um, for black, uh, it only helps and weakens his king side. So he plays knight fd8 or d7. h5 anyways, because we're going right, right through with it. Knight takes, bishop takes, and then f6, which we take. This is, a, uh, this is kind of a in-between move. And then we take. So, if you if you ever see this, just grab the knight. 
there and then take because remember your uh, bishop is uh, you have a dark a lot of pawns and dark squares so your dark square bishop's bad anyways so just grab a because we're going to be going really into a closed position and knights dominate bishops of course in a closed position you guys know that so that's why he grabbed also it pulled a rook off to b8 which is kind of a silly spot and allowed you to take so that when takes and d3 now we're uh, taking scope on g6 and uh, potentially getting ready for another attack with the queen coming in too so f5 to blunt that attack f3 with the idea of playing queen to h4 uh, or h3 not h4 so the bishop retreats back, which is interesting. It holds the position. I think he says in, let me see, 14, 14, 14. There's another, uh, white opens the position. Uh, see if, if uh, white had, this is a, a play that could be uh, playable here. There. And then, F4. Now that that locks everything down. Black's kind of neutralized, and he really has no spot to go to. We got him. But he's saying, I think I did. I miss a, a line here. I think, I think there was a. I think G. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, no, no. He says he was looking at um, pawn to G4, but he says. That this is the point when he said it was crazy to actually play uh, g4 here would be uh, not not very good. He says he looked at it and it was like it wasn't the best move. So if you considered that, do not to play that move. That is way too uh, optimistic, as I would say, too positive. So he played bishop to f7 to kind of avoid that. G4 now is is great. This, now you see the problem with moving the bishop back. It blocks the rook. Every move member has a drawback. So this move blocked the rook's protection of here, which would have made the move very, very not good, let's just say. But now g4 can be played because there's no rook and bishop attack so e uh, e6 to hold castle uh, queen side let me see here i gotta get to the next part okay uh, e8 to kind of it's going to, to give the king space to run and also preparing uh, e5 at the right moment rook dg this rook uh, d to g1 is so that at the right moment we can uh, take with the pawn and have our two cannons uh, shooting the cannonballs right at the king breaking the wall down the fortress king f8 and then knight e2 this brings another attacker into the fight this is a uh, this is a exclam because now we're bringing one more one more of our guys in the fight the knights like Wait for me, boys. We're coming in. We're coming in. And so he's like, "Give me, give me a move." So, he, so we do, and we say, "All right, come right on in." E two, and he's like, "All right, now I'm ready to go into the fray." So E five is played. There's bishop. I mean, queen F uh, six, trying to you know cement the king side to hold. G takes. Yeah, it takes and then rook to h6, I mean h7 to attack. So the cool idea was I was looking at if, let's say he played something like this, I wanted to show you. There's this move here. And if queen takes, queen takes, wham. And you gotta love that. And so let's see, two, four, five. We, we're up a whole pawn in this line and it's still closed we're so winning and so I, I looked at that line I wanted to show that to you guys so h queen uh, king and then queen h3 
with the same idea at hand and then bishop to g5 f5 so that remember if that happens that that and boom we've just won a pawn that's why he played e5 instead of uh, the queen move pawn takes rook takes takes and then queen f6 let me see, make sure. And then white plays a dubious move. It's like he's doing so good. So good right now. And it's like, what are you doing? You have no weaknesses. It's not, you're ready for the attack. What are you doing, you know? Make sure that your moves when you're attacking are, like, really powerful. Because you, you do not want to throw... Um, a dubious move in there you want to you want to have all your moves have purposes like the best move would be to have applied uh, knight to a rook to h7 this takes advantage of there's three pieces of I in the bishop so h8 and then queen to h2 which now we're attacking again twice and it's only defended once so king e7, and then boom, now we win heavy material. There's uh, no way for, um, there's, he's going to lose a piece. He's going to have to block. Yeah. Let's see right, right here. You mean was he trying knight takes? I think he could be trying that, but um, I'm I am really not sure because they're they're saying that best for black would have been his best try would have been f4. He takes f h6. Yeah, so he couldn't, he actually can't, he can't take with the rook bishop, can't take because if he did play, let's say we played here, rook takes, 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 I think we'd be up in exchange at that point, yeah. So that is a good move. Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like if he played something like like this. And you played there and he played there. Yeah, you could pick up a uh you could intercept and then the queen takes and you're up basically two exchanges. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, that's kind of why he had to play Rook BD3. Uh, that's kind of the idea. That, But you have to remember that um, my teacher told me, always, always make sure you uh, your moves have at least one or two, I, at least two to three ideas behind them. That This move got pair, uh, was able to get taken care of by just moving the Rook. It was a one-move idea. The other idea took advantage of all the position the weakness of the bishops and queens. That's why uh, that move is stellar. That move right here. And then you just keep taking advantage of it. And you, then eventually you win material. But you play there, there, H. And so now he gets an exclam. And he, and it said, he says this. He finally... White finally sees the the idea and uh, plays that move in Queen H2. King moves and then White resigns because heavy material loss is going to be he's going to have to give up some material basically like that and when the Queen Queen moves. 
if the queen's going to have to, uh, let me see here, not F. It's probably going to have to go all the way back to hold this together. But then you could take and after takes. Hmm. So he just re he resigned at this point here, and oops the idea the summary and then we'll do one or two tactics, and we'll then I gotta log off the summary of the idea is the uh, psychological attack back here with uh, knight to f3 uh, knight e3 and then if uh, with c6 knight e5 which what he's saying and then h4 is the uh, berry attack very popular uh, so he scored many wins with this he said uh, he surprised many of his black opponents and sometimes if they the majority of the players that you're gonna face don't know this setup for the London uh, if they haven't studied it, you have a pretty good chance of picking up a win here. So that that's with that, and now we'll do one or two puzzles. Come on, don't lag them in now. Come on. There we go. Well, yeah, we crossed uh, 2,600. Yesterday, we crossed 2,600. I forgot to tell you about that, Fox. We crossed 2,600. Yes. It was a celebration day. I think I changed my thing to... Our next uh, thing is instead of 26, yeah, instead of 26, uh, 100, our next uh, road is 2,700. That's our uh, road to 2,700 now, it's to 26. Now we have to, <clears throat> now the moves get super duper complicated because you have to, there's like three different moves you usually have to go through and then if they throw a kink in uh, the idea, the next moves have like one or two moves you have to solve. So it comes out to about almost three to four different variations, and there's only one of those that are right. So we have to take it nice, and uh, we have to be patient with our analysis, very patient. Let's see here. Okay, the knight's under fire at this moment. He's in the crosshairs of um, black. So... Sometimes we have to turn off our concern with the knight. That this is what um, Grandmaster Maurice Ashley uh, said is in his uh, what Grandmasters uh, what Grandmasters see basically, and what what um, the amazing moves is. You sometimes have to forget what your opponent's doing and focus on an idea that you're going to have, and then he says, "Come back and look at that." Um, your opponent's threat but you have to sometimes block out that so that you can see your idea so we kinda let's let's just forget about this this uh, pawn attacking the knight just for this moment and see if, if we can find a good move for us 
So we're just going to figure that this, this right here, idea doesn't even exist at the moment. So just block it out of out of your guys' mind, and we got to think, what can we do here? What's our plan? And let's see, what are we going to do here? Okay. Hmm. We could take the pawn on h5. Knight uh, rook takes h5. Hmm. That is an interesting idea. Uh, rook takes. King eight, uh, king there. Pawn push. I see pawn push takes, and then knight, knight e four. That's uh, super interesting for sure. Yeah, so basically here, there, 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 there. And then if king takes, uh, king takes the pawn. The rook takes the pawn. And have we uh, accomplished anything though? I think we're equal material at that point. I think we're up two pawns. Yes, it is. Hmm. Let's just check. I just gonna go back to move ten real quick. Sometimes you could just get an idea of. So night takes. I'm just taking night.
think we're kind of forced to take if I'm not mistaken here. I think I think it's kind of a forced move. see any other move that that doesn't start out with that so I'm pretty sure takes is right oh snap oh wow okay Let's give that a go. So the queen check. Yeah, I think I believe this this move doesn't actually work because he could come here. So we're kind of forced. Let's see there on um, rook f two. See here. Look F two if Queen takes sorry if Queen takes then we win there. So rook F rook F two if Queen back we snap off. Here, rook takes, we win the rook. This, uh, sorry, this here has a problem with that because then now, well, maybe not. Let's see, okay, we tried this, so we see that this. This potentially is winning, so let's try the D2 move, Rook D2. Oh, I know why, because he can just take here, and then if we take back, he just takes our Rook. Yeah, so this has to be the forced move. We'll do one more.
let's see if we play queen g6, queen takes g6, so queen g6 check, queen takes g6, pawn takes g6, king there, We can't take here because of uh, uh, mate. I was looking at queen, if takes, rook takes, and then if he takes with the pawn, we have potentially there, but then he could actually protect it with knight to b6, and our double threat idea is all gone. So I think we have to take with the pawn. So if there, queen takes, pawn takes, king back, push maybe it takes and then Maybe it's queen e4 then. But then he has knight to. He can actually take there. Then if we take there, he can come back, take here. If we take there, he just comes and grabs that. So. I'm kind of liking, yeah. He'd be up in exchange after. See, if we, if we did this here, there, 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 and there. He's actually up a whole piece at that point. He'd be up a rook and we'd only have that. He'd be up a rook and bishop. So we have to, we actually have to trade here. 
I kind of looked at this here, there. When he moves back, you take. When the king takes, you move the rook over. And then what you're doing is you're threatening if he comes up here. You're threatening to play check here and pick off the, the bishop. So the line would be uh, queen uh, g6 check. Um, queen takes g6. Um, F takes g6 check. Uh, king g8 g8 rook uh, takes f8 and a rook then goes to f3 I believe I believe that's kind of the move sorry it's all crammed together let me uh, let me copy it and kind of space it out a little bit There we go. I'll repost it in. A little more spaced out. That's kind of what I'm uh, considering. What do you guys think? So what do you guys think? Sorry, I forgot to put in uh, king takes. I forgot to put in king takes, then rookie uh, e4. Sorry, I forgot to this. The I missed. A, I missed a move. I gotta recopy that. I have to recopy that in. King takes um, f8. And then rook uh, rook g uh, rook f3 check. See, uh, rook, uh, um, when he plays, when we play rook to f3, I forgot to add a check to that. Rook F7 would be a check at that point. Rook F7 would be check. Uh, right here, this line, let me uh, repost it in. Copy. You, this right here, let's see. There, 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 there. Okay, I gotta put a check in here. King G8, uh, Rook to F. Rook F7, check, and then the king would have to uh, king would have to move, and then you would pick up the you take uh, rook takes d6, 
seven and that that's the line because the pawns here and your rook would be right there you'd pick up the bishop Oh, oh, T, oh, drat. Yeah, he went G8. Sorry, wrong. <laughs> I, f I thought you, I, I thought you meant G7. Yeah, that was my fault. Okay, yeah. But I think that's the best line. That's, that's the only line really I can see. Okay, so, so queen e4, back to the drawing board. What I was thinking is queen there, uh, pawn takes. I guess he he can't take, can he? Because he would lose. If he takes here, we pick up the knight. So I guess he does have to move his queen, doesn't he? Then we could just take at that point. Hmm. Yeah, because if we play here. If he plays there, we could just retreat our queen back, uh, which is attacking the the knight here, which would be attacking the knight. So then, when the knight moves back, we take and we actually pick up a piece. Yeah. Taking queen to queen d3, and that that's a double double attack. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. Whoa. Oh. Yikes. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Oh, why did we just take that? Uh, that's all right. Let's uh, let's take scope before I log off. That's okay. We'll we'll get it back. So, uh, I didn't even. Uh, I should have. Th this is total chest blindness there. 
yikes. So let's take scope to see why this move here is. Yeah. We'll just take a quick look at this. Okay, if he takes here, here, and then he goes there, rotates. takes. Yeah, and white's okay, but not the best. Okay, if let's see, what's your what's the line H? Um, root G six, Queen uh, E three, Queen E five. King F. Okay. That root takes. Yep, there we go. Yep. So, did I look at everybody's lines? Are we all good? Did I get, did I look at everybody's lines? Do you have any other lines, box, or any, any, any other, anybody? So, are you good? I tell you, we, we, you gotta, we gotta remember that we have to constantly look at moves that, you know, we can't always just, yeah, I guess, I guess in the, the best of terms, don't do, don't be chess blind. Uh, that's what happened with that one. We learned from it though, and we are going to continue to push onward towards 2700. So... Don't worry, guys. And remember, our worth is not in our um, rating as a, as t uh, with tactics or puzzles. Uh, you know what I mean? We got to use the mind the Lord's given us. We know what we need to do, and we're going to apply it. We're willing, and we're going to do it, like Bruce Lee says. And like Hannibal Smith said, we got to continue to have our plan, work our plan, and then... Um, basically forget the rest make them do what we want and that's a plan so and uh, keep a lot of the nations in your prayers be because of all the floods and stuff that's going on around the world and just in all the earthquakes just keep all the you know China and Japanese and India in your guys' prayers and thoughts okay uh, guys I'll leave you with this thought as Wesley So says, through the Lord Jesus, and as I say, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time on Chess Cruncher TV. Have a blessed morning, afternoon, and evening, and guys, keep studying chess, keep doing good. We're going to get there, you know what I mean? One step at a time, we're improving. It's like uh, a sword on a, on a stone. You constantly have to, it gets sharpened and sharpened. It sparks for a while. But at the very end, it's super duper sharp. So that'll, that'll keep our minds sharp. And so guys, have a uh, blessed morning, afternoon, and evening. And Lord willing, I'll be back on tomorrow. And we'll do some more uh, puzzles, games, and uh, studies. So we'll do all that. And that'll be uh, fun. So be blessed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.